welcome to Grace My Space. Today, we are gonna do another room makeover. All the bedrooms in our new house are this wonderful, beautiful, blank slate, all white, nothing on the walls, barely even anything to patch. And so I had a really great clean slate to work with. I put together a design plan. I wanna bring some color back into this room and add some functionality to it. And really today we're talking about how to completely transform a space with very minimal work. Let's take a quick peek at the full room in its before state. And this video is sponsored with thanks to Brooklinen. Do you remember this piece? I had this piece in one of my latest antiquing videos. I'll pop it up here if you wanna see it out in the wild. This armoire is actually what we store all of our folded clothes in for both Erin and I, and it's working perfectly. I love it. We have no nightstands. We have no artwork or anything on the walls. We have a mishmash of bedding. It's a little chaotic. We've got the air conditioning unit over here in the window. Let's get this going. Woo! This is gonna be phase one of this bedroom makeover because we may need to do some work when we do the whole home remodel in the coming months. But for now, I wanna paint the ceiling. Home stretch. My arms will never be the same again, nor will my neck. It's definitely going to need a second coat. Super splotchy. Really, really hoping it was primed before I did this. I assumed it was because it looked painted. But the way it's soaking the paint up, we're going to just say prayers. That's what we're going to do. If I had not trimmed sloppily and just wanted a really cool update i could have just painted the ceiling and left the walls white and that would add a lot of dimension to the room that's one option if you have a space that you just want a little bit more character good such a pretty color on to coat two <laughs> Don't skip on that prep work because it's going to make all the difference when you apply your paint. You see any pale paint cups are the best. Now I did um, the lighter tone on the ceiling. I'm doing a darker tone of the same color family on the walls. And I'm hoping that just gets a little bit of interest, but also doesn't make it feel too tight because I painted the ceiling. That's the hope. I actually thought that this room had crown molding in it when I bought the paint and I was thinking I would paint the crown molding the same color as the ceiling and make it feel like it's cascading down, like a little hub. And then I got here and there was no crown molding. <laughs> The rest of the house has crown molding. I just assumed it was in the bedrooms and didn't really pay super close attention, but there's no crown. love the color. I love that the ceiling is lighter, makes it look a little bit less, um, like I didn't want it to feel dungeony because it's a smaller room, a darker color. So lightening that by a shade actually helped quite a bit. And we're gonna finish, I'm only done the first coat, finish up the painting, soften the darker color with lighter accents throughout the room. It's coming along. 
One thing I like to do when I have a dark color on the walls is paint the outlet covers. It just makes it look a lot more seamless this way. building in my time. So let's go. Fuel. You gonna help me? Nothing like trying to line up eight different screws. Nine dowels at the same time. Yes! Starting to look like something. super heavy mirror. I would like to get it off the floor so it's not just leaning against the wall. And so I'm going to use this picture hanging tool. It is super nifty. So you basically, you have, this is especially nifty for when you have two hangers. You know how you're always like, nail it in, nail it in. Not level every time. Never fails. This also never fails. So you line it up. And this is, I've already actually set this, but um, basically you line up each side so that it shows you how far apart you need to put your nails. And then you put it on the wall and it's got this little level on the back. And so you level it and you tap these in and it leaves a little hole where you're supposed to put your nails. And then you have equally spaced and level nail holes. It's genius. I'm actually using monkey hooks for this. This is a 50 pound mirror. These hold 35 pounds each, so hopefully we're good to go. I've never used monkey hooks. They make me a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I really hope they don't fall out of my wall. We'll see how it goes. So this is what it looks like. And you just, you can't have it on a stud. It's gotta just go into drywall. You shove it in and you rotate it. We'll see. it doesn't come crashing down. <laughs>
So I just hung these. They haven't been steamed or ironed or anything, but just as a visual, naked window, dressed window. This is a really, really, really easy way to make your windows um, not only offer you privacy, these are blackout curtains and sun protection, but it also just makes them look really pretty, more intentional. It's so simple and a lot of people don't hang curtains and that's okay. If you don't want curtains, that is just fine, but I like curtains. Once I get all the wrinkles out, I'm going to fluff it. It'll look a lot better than it does right now. And I also brought up the nightstand. We got crookedness going on here. It's coming together. The game changer is the bed area, and we will be getting to that very soon. When hanging curtains, I go as high as possible and as wide as possible. Normally I would say have six to seven inches on the outside of your frame, but since my frame is up against a wall, we're just working with what we have and using the height to our advantage. We'll get these up and then we'll dress the bed. So what should I look for when buying sheets? I always look for number one, quality luxury quality, which is why I go with Brooklinen. And number two, softness and breathability, which is also why I go with Brooklinen. Brooklinen is a luxury sheet company. It has over 100,000 five-star reviews. If you really think about it, you are in your sheets for a third of every day. So why would you not invest in something that is quality and affordable, luxurious, gets softer with every wash, and is beautiful at the same time. Now I've used Brooklinen's hardcore bundles for a few years and always love their sheets. And this time I have also invested in a down comforter. I went with the all season comforter. These are hypoallergenic. You can also get the lightweight version, all season, which is what I have, or you can also do the ultra warm. I like to do the mid range because I'm a layerer. And so if I did the ultra warm, which would be ideal for Michigan winters, I think I'd be too hot since I like to layer so much. So I went with the all season and I'm going to show you how well it fits with their duvet covers because it has ties on all the corners. Now look at this luxurious sheen that this duvet cover has. I went with the Lux Hardcore Bundle and that comes with your sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. And you can save 25% by bundling that. Let's get this on the bed. But the real game changer is that when you buy the Hardcore Lux Sheet Bundle, you also get to pick and mix and match your colors. I chose a warm gray for the duvet cover and for the extra pillowcases so that I kept the tones matching. And then I did this beautiful green for the sheets. Now I have used Brooklinen for years. I love how they get softer with every single wash. They are a beautiful quality. They have lasted for a very long time and they breathe really nicely at night. So if you've never checked into Brooklinen sheets, make sure and check it out. I will link it for you in the description. Let's add the finishing touches. So I always like to use art above the bed that I can switch out seasonally as needed. And then just bringing in some really pretty elements to decorate the nightstands. And let me show you the before and then the after. Now, if you watch closely, then I'm sure you noticed a lot of the items in the room are exactly the same. The bed did not change. The bench at the end of the bed did not change. The mirror didn't change. The rug didn't change. The only things that we actually added, furniture-wise, is the nightstands. And then I dressed the bed, added the curtains that we had at our last house, and hung the mirror and styled it up. The color is the real game changer for setting a whole new tone in this bedroom and then just adding those finishing touches that are very simple and very affordable goes so far to create a really serene and complete looking bedroom. I hope this 
this has been helpful to show you how color and styling can go a very long way in creating a completely different and transformed space with minimal effort. This entire room makeover took me only a few days and most of that was just painting. Make sure and check out the description for all of the paint colors that I used as well as any shoppable decor sources that you can still find. Items like this are antique and so I cannot link for you, but I will source what I can in the description. I have so many more room makeovers coming for you, but this room is not quite complete, so make sure, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for this next video, because this is going to be an awesome transformation to complete our main bedroom. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time.